How's it going out there? I'm Go Rick from Chronic Noise. Uh, we're here at Vans Warped Tour in Toronto 2013, and we've got uh, Big Chocolate with us right now. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for uh, an awesome set. We just watched you destroy the uh, uh, Spotify stage. Um, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, First is, of all, is, look at this view. Oh, it's Check gorgeous around here, man. Good pan over there. Look at that. Is this, Very nice. uh, is this uh, your uh, first trip to uh, Warp Tour? Uh, this is my second Warp Tour. Second Warp? This so, one was 2011. 2011. Have you been, uh, so obviously, to Toronto before? Yeah, but the last one, I don't remember really where it was. And it was Toronto. Yeah. I, I, I never saw anything besides the Warp I believe tour. it was probably like, at a... Uh, definitely wasn't here. It was probably at Arrow Hall, which is more like near the airport. It's big open and no grass, no trees, no city to be seen. That sounds more like yeah. what I remember. No, this is a beautiful place to play. Like I said, you yeah, just, uh, just destroyed on the Spotify stage. Um, I'm, I'm uh, going to ask a couple of rudimentary questions. A, how long have you been in this business? Um, I probably got in the business side of things. Business. Oh, something distracting now. Um, I've probably been in this business for like three years, maybe. It's probably when I start taking it seriously. Yeah. Well, seriously, the point where. Are you on a label per se at the time, right, right now? Or? Nope. No. All independent. All independent. So, uh, so as you go around, you, are you pretty DIY uh, in in um, marketing yourself and your whole, or do you have a team? I've got a team now, um, but for the most part, the team just helps me do DIY. Um, DIY. <laughs> something I wanted to, to, to ask is I, I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to DJ and electronic but as I said when I was watching your set it's it's so bass heavy and it's so much akin to heavy music and then some of your background is, is dealing with uh, death metal and death vocals and guys you worked with uh, with Mitch uh, Suicide Silence and just different people that it's it's kind of when I sat there and watched it I, I said to you before I couldn't believe how how bottom heavy it was and how much like metal it really was without you know it was like electronic metal it was it's like a, it's like a big build up and just unload a ton of bass on it is it something that's catching on or have i just not seen it going on is it i think you've just not seen it going on yeah because um, it, it seems like it's got a real strong following and a very excited following but i don't know if that's every artist or do you have to what that thing is to make people you know you you
reach out and find out who is Big Chocolate or or what's your repertoire for videos or things. I mean, can you can you go on YouTube and easily find uh, a whole bunch of stuff with you? I, I know YouTube, but I, I, I recommend uh, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. I think SoundCloud is the best way to listen to music. Yeah, yeah like it really is. They added that continuous play feature. Yeah, there's no ads, so like, let's say you're listening to like no one of my jams. Yeah, nah.
sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, uh, basically, uh, I just wanted to say.